What is up guys, Rick Hack is here, going over the AUG submachine gun variant in the division. Now remember that this is a gun variant, you can get several different AUGs in the division. I have an enhanced AUG A3P, you can get a black market AUG, a first wave AUG, but remember those all belong to the same gun variant. The main difference between these different guns is just going to be visual, and although there may be a slight damage variation, the rate of fire and the magazine size and the behavior of these guns will all be identical. Now I can't definitively say that the AUG is the de facto best SMG in the entire game because there's so much randomization. Different people will get vastly different AUGs and other submachine guns. However, Damn if the AUG isn't in the running for the best SMG, it is definitely one of the top contestants and many people will have this as their best SMG and that's why we're going over it today. Now I actually made a video on my at the time best gun, my first wave vector 45 ACP and I remember that one of the top comments was someone just saying hey have you got an AUG yet? And I remember thinking, yeah, I've seen a few AUGs, but there's no way, there's no way you can get past the damage dealing of this vector. It's just too absurd. Well, I got an AUG. I got an AUG, and damn if it isn't potentially better than my first wave vector 45 ACP. And guys, I never thought this would happen. Now let's talk about what makes the AUG so good. Why do I think it's one of the best SMGs in the division? Well, let's take a look at its base stats with no attachments. This gun does a lot of damage, over 8,000 for my current build, and that's really going to depend on your firearm skill. However, regardless of your firearm skill, the AUG is always going to be one of the SMGs that does higher damage. Compared to other SMGs, the AUG and the Vector are in the absolute top echelon for per shot damage. Now the AUG's rate of fire is 725 and the Vector's is 750. Those are both very respectable rate of fires. There's nothing insane, they aren't up to 800-900, but they aren't ridiculously low in the 500-600 rounds per minute category either. And this is really where the AUG's damage dealing potential comes from. Firstly, it does insane per shot damage, one of the highest out of all of the SMGs and it has a totally respectable rounds per minute. It's shooting pretty darn fast. It's not shooting insanely slow. In fact, there is SMGs like the T821 that shoot slower and do less damage. So the damage dealing potential of the AUG in a short period of time is insane. The one clear downside is a very small magazine size of 25. And this is the same problem that the Vector has as well, because it only has a magazine size of 20. The damage dealing potential for a very short period of time is insane, but it goes down drastically because you're reloading so often. However, because the magazine size bonuses for the magazine attachments are so generous, I mean, once you reach level 30, you're easily getting above 70% magazine size bonuses. I've gotten my 25 round magazine with a pretty crappy bonus actually with just a purple attachment that increases magazine size by 72, I've gotten that magazine all the way up to 43. So you're essentially taking away the one downside of this gun with a simple attachment. And in fact, let's go over the attachments that I like to use for my AUG. Firstly, for muzzle break, I really like to find something that has an increase to critical hit chance. Again, that's just going to increase your damage output. Now for underbell, honestly, this really doesn't matter too much. Accuracy or stability, either one would be fine. The AUG is actually extremely easy to use, even with no attachments. So you really don't have to worry about anything in the stability or accuracy category. Now for the sight, I like to go with something that increases headshot damage and critical hit chance because you really because it's an SMG and already has a really good increase to critical hit chance why not just increase that even more why not just make it insane so it's critting all the time 
And lastly, for magazine, I like to use something that increases, obviously, the magazine size. You really do need something that increases that, but also that increases the rate of fire. Now, this is very important because, actually, if I remember back to my vector video, I said I don't like to increase the rate of fire because if you increase the rate of fire on a vector, even though I got the magazine to 36 rounds, it just uses up ammo so fast that it's just reloading way too often. I like to keep it at 750. But for this gun, because you can get more rounds out of the magazine, I can increase that rate of fire, and that really helps with damage per second. Oh, and by the way, when I was recording this footage, I kind of looked at my magazine and I thought, you know, I might just go for a high-end magazine attachment, because why not? The magazine I was using wasn't that good. A 70% increase? That's nothing. I went and crafted a magazine and got absolutely insanely lucky, and I got a high-end magazine that increased magazine size by 99% and rate of fire by nearly 30%. I haven't even used it yet with this gun, but it put the DPS well over 100,000, and I can't wait to try this new attachment out. So the AUG is an amazing SMG in the division for the same reason that the Vector is. The damage output for these guns is absolutely insane and it's only hindered by their small magazine sizes, which can be fixed easily with one attachment. Now although the AUG does have less rate of fire at 725 rather than the Vector's 750, it also has 5 more rounds in a magazine, which actually really does matter when you're increasing it with an attachment. But here's the most insane thing about the AUG. If we take a look at it, compared to my first wave Vector 45 ACP, again, that gun was so fantastic, I made an entire video about it. Now we compare these guns, both have attachments, so both are pretty even actually in their damage output. You'll see that the Vector just barely by over, just over a thousand damage edges out the AUG in terms of DPS displayed. Now you might be thinking, well, then why is the AUG so amazing? I mean, your Vector does literally more damage. But again, here's the scary thing. The Vector spawns with the Brutal perk, so it's doing 20% more headshot damage at all occasions, okay? And it barely beats the AUG by just over 1,000 DPS. The AUG does not have good talents. In fact, the only talent that's active is the one that heals you for critical hit shots. And I know that's actually a pretty useful perk but in terms of damage output that doesn't impact it at all so the AUG is almost better it is like just barely worse than a vector that's doing 20% more headshot damage at all occasions and the AUG doesn't have anything to do with damage output in terms of his talents and it is just barely behind imagine if this AUG had the perk which increased headshot damage imagine the DPS then it would be astounding and just think about that, I've made an entire video saying that the AUG is absolutely amazing and recommending that you guys go out and get any AUGs you find. And this whole time, I've had pretty crappy talents on my AUG, and it's this good, and I use it this much. Imagine if I got a good perk roll, I would be unstoppable. So again guys, definitely be on the lookout for those AUG gun variants in the division. They are absolutely fantastic, especially if you have some good magazine attachments. And if you come across a high-end AUG blueprint somewhere in the game, it's definitely worth buying. Now if you guys have any god roll augs, don't be afraid to share them in the comment section down below. Additionally, if you have another division gun variant that you'd like to see reviewed, especially a gun variant that you think is kind of being overlooked right now, leave those in the comment section down below as well. Now that's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating or sharing this video. If you want to see more Division content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day. The reason I wanted to present you guys with this weapon is because it has just consistently surpassed my expectations. I have been 
always impressed by the performance of this gun so I wanted to showcase it to you guys because I think most of you should definitely be looking out for these vector variants and remember that's an important factor the first wave vector 45 ACP is the best version of the vector that I have gotten you don't have to be looking for this specific variant you don't have to get another first wave vector 45 ACP